Wakey, wakey. See how that works? <laughs> Dozer. What the? A dart? A little longer. And... Ah. Oh, what am I getting mad at anyway? Strike! Hey, Tony, I'll just grab a couple of these vouchers, okay? And while we're at it, can you do the dishes this week? <laughs> I like Tony much better this way. <laughs> I was beginning to fear that her body had adapted to tranquilizers. <laughs> oh, uh, by the way, I used your family pictures to insulate a weather balloon. Mm, just, um, just, just a moment. What? Ah! Did you mention weather balloons? No, no, no. I said uh, vouchers. Will, will you look at those, those nifty vouchers? <laughs> Keep your hands off. I've counted them. Hey, Tony, I have a present for you. Hello, hello. Didn't I say you're not to bring animals into my store? Yeah, but I thought that only concerned rats and insects. And? Yeah, and water buffaloes. But this parrot is completely different. He's smart, clean, doesn't break stuff, and he doesn't even have lice. Wow, so he's the exact opposite of you. Oh, that's uh, very funny, Tony. I just thought you could use someone who listens to you, so you can chew someone else's ear off for a change. Well, at least I won't be talking to a brick wall. Very funny, Tony! <laughs> I like him. Yeah, there's no surprise there. He sounds like your mother. And there's a certain resemblance, too. Get out! Get out! Oh. I should have listened to my mother. Be careful with this guy, Tony. He's an egotistical maniac. Egotistical maniac? <laughs> <laughs> Just you wait till you see him in action. Just the other week, he filled the cemetery's lawnmower with Cool Whip. Maniac! Maniac! <laughs> Poor bird. It won't be long before he starts pining for toxic mind fumes again. And then Rufus greased the bees with fat for deep frying just so he could... Wait a second. Here he is again. Let's talk later, okay? I don't want him to hang around here without supervision. Ah! Poor Tony! Ah! Hi, Rufus. Thanks again for the bird. Rufus is a no good Nick. Ah! Such a smart animal. <laughs> what are you doing? I better take him back. You're a bad influence on him. You do that. I already have a sore throat. Repeating myself all over again makes me quite depressed. Those are all lies, you hear? Rufus, don't have expired. Ah! <laughs> Cheap lies. I suggest not to move her in this condition. What kind of condition is she in? I still don't understand. I mean, is she dead? No, no. Her body is alive and well. It's her consciousness. It's inactive. So, 
she's asleep. Well, it's a bit more complicated than that. I think it's related to this implant. It's broken. A consciousness implant? Isn't there a switch or something? A fuse? Maybe the contacts are corroded. That's what always happens with my intercom. I already tried everything, but this is Elysian technology. I have no idea how it's being used. I don't even have the appropriate screwdriver. So, uh, when can I finally take her home? She needs to wake up first. Okay, okay, I see. This situation needs to be resolved through a government decision. Let's do it like this. If you manage to wake her up, you can have her. And what happens if I wake her up? Rufus! You're not even supposed to be here. But I have a plan. Oh, I've heard about your plans. You never think things through. Everything you do ends in chaos, and most likely with an explosion. <laughs> we'll see about that. I warn you, stay away from the girl. What's that supposed to be? Well, I just want to stick this funnel into her mouth. Not as long as I am her acting physician. And I, her acting mayor. Dr. Gizmo? What now? Well, thanks for your time. You're welcome. Hmm. Not literally. What's that funny smell? Ah! Fire! The town hall's on fire! Fire control mode activated. Firefighter Gizmo at your service. Where is the fire? Over there! The chamber's on fire! Good lord! Don't worry, your fire will be extinguished in no time. Getting worried I'd have to camp in the cupboard forever. Whoop! Where was I? Ah, yes. Medical mode activated. Dr. Gizmo at your service. How's the patient? I'd say her condition hasn't changed. Leave the diagnosis to the doctor, will you? Now, oh, just where is it? My stethoscope, it's gone! Thieves! Crime in progress! Police mode activated. Officer Gizmo at your service. No one leaves the crime scene. Huh? Ah, but Rufus! You're not untouchable, Lotech. Don't you ever forget that. That's enough. I think you're done. Uh, come on, Gizmo. You have more important things to do. Don't tell me how to do my work. Or are you just trying to divert my attention from your guilt? What? That's simply... Aha! Here is the missing clue. The last piece that completes the puzzle. The mystery of the thieving mayor has finally been solved. Thieving mayor? How dare you? Put up your hands, Lotek. I have no intention of lifting my hands. You better do what I say. I don't want to. You don't have any choice. I don't? Well, you're fired. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. Hey, but I arrested oh. you first. So what? You're fired anyway. You can't fire me. You're arrested. You can't arrest me. You're fired. But I arrested you first. So what? You're I... what... well... how was that? Me. It was me. <coughs> Rufus? Are you alright? Phew. Oh... oh. What happened? You woke the stranger, the Elysian girl, and then you got knocked out. Goal? Where is she? How is she? She's still a bit confused. I think her implant was seriously damaged by the fall. She is conscious now, but she's just talking gibberish. Can I talk to her? Of course. She's lying over there. I took her into medical custody. Just don't stress her out too much. 
First and foremost, she needs rest now. No problem. Thanks, Doctor. Goal? It's me, your savior. Toodle, toodle, toodle. Pucks? No, it, it's Rufus. Ooh. Yes? Pucks? You can give me any name you like, babe. Say, did it hurt a lot when you fell from the sky? <laughs> uh... Oh, come on, that was funny. <sighs> because, I mean, you, you really fell from the sky, you know, like an angel. <laughs> Just like in the in the pickup line, <laughs> do, do, do you get it? Hello, anyone home? Um, 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 um. I'll take that as a yes with limitations. Get a hold of yourself. Soup, 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 Guadeloupe. Huh. She's attractive and fun to talk to. Ah, uh, flash dash kazash. <laughs> Savvy, mommy, good old granny. Grumblump? Puzzle false. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> Munch, grunch? Attack a tick tock. Oh! Knock, knock. Heck, this is totally useless. That woman is completely nuts. Bonkers, wonka, kazonkers. Oh, what did I expect anyway? That she would take me to Elysium? Elysium. We need to go back to Elysium. What did you just say? Horrible things. The Organon betrayed us. Quick, we need to go back. To Elysium. Yes, yes. You, you, you remember what happened? Is that you, Cletus? What? No, I'm not. My, my name is Rufus. I saved you. Rufus? I don't understand. Where am I? You, you had a pretty bad fall. The doctor says that you're hallucinating. That's... confusing, but... <sighs> I need to get to Cletus. Can you take me to him? Who is Cletus? My fiancé. Uh, well, I don't know. Maybe you are safer down here. After all, you... He'll reward you generously. Oh, that, uh, generously, you say? Try to contact Cletus. He will search for me. Yeah, yeah. How generous exactly is generous? Maybe you can reach him using a radio. He's certainly trying to find me. Do you really think that's a good idea? I mean, for a fiancé, he didn't really make much of an effort to protect you. Rufus, please. You're the only one I can trust. Yeah, that sounds about right. I really am the only one you can trust. The only one. And you already proved that you're of noble character. Mm-hmm. The burden of the hero. But let's get back to the expression, generous. Rufus, please, contact Cletus. I would be so very thankful. So very, very thankful. I'm sorry, I don't know if I can do that. Can spam one tomo polo lollipop? Peekaboo. But... Bootam swadikosu loka shwootipop. Oh, the burden of the hero. Why do I always have to be so infinitely generous? Hello, Dr. Gizmo. Ah, Rufus, does your head still hurt? The only thing that hurts is the fact that I'm still trapped in this junkyard. I'm afraid I don't have any medicine for that. Except maybe a word of advice. This. Here is your life. Accepted. So, what's up with Goal? Well, I think it's her implant. It was damaged in the fall. Goal needs to return to Elysium. Very funny. Nothing that lands on Deponia ever returns to Elysium. But then... What's going to happen to her? The mayor decided that she'll stay here with us, in Kovac. And I think that's a very reasonable decision. In her condition, I wouldn't want her to travel, even if the destination were easier to reach than Elysium. Could you leave me alone with her for a moment? No. But... No. Bummer. I'll be back. Wonderful. I can't wait to see you again.
the perpetrator was Rufus. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Um, I think the post office is open. Me, oh my, I think... Yeah, right! You didn't expect that now, did ya? <laughs> no. No, right? <laughs> error, error. All right, suit yourself. And a hamster wheel. Aww, cute and strange. So a cat licks the stamps? Well, I hope it knows what it's doing. A bit too slow or a bit too fast, and whoops a daisy, the package gets the wrong postage. Uh, hi. Please state your business. I want to place a forwarding request. Date the reason for your forwarding request. Well, I'll be living in Elysium in the future. Self-importance error. Where can I make a radio call? Outgoing radio calls can be made from every registered private radio device. Where would I find one of these registered private devices? There is no radio device registered for long distance calls. What's that supposed to mean? It has to be possible to make outgoing calls somehow. Not while using a private radio device. Are there other radio devices registered? There are three registered devices for local calls. One is situated in the mayor's office. Another at the front desk counter in the town hall. The communication system of the emergency station is the third one. But it's only possible to make internal calls from there? Well, that's perfect. Are there absolutely no long-distance devices? There are no long-distance devices except the listening post of the post office and the reserve system in the vault. Well, so there are two of them after all. Both devices are not cleared for public use. Damn. I'd like to register a private radio device for long-distance calls. Very well. Where shall the device be installed? Um, Tony's house is located in Grid Square 4, right at the East Tunnel exit. Your order has been placed. The installation of the device will presumably be completed in calendar week 63. What? That's a quarter of a year from now. I'll have long since left Kuvac by then. The installation of the device will take 3.799 months. During this period, your house will be disconnected from the electricity grid and the community's water mains. Ear protection muffs for the noise during the nightly drilling are included in the costs. By what means do you wish to pay? Yeah, uh, Tony will pay for me. May I enter the vault? Over the corroded remains of my wrecked body. <laughs> I think I can arrange that. Dude, you're no fun at all. I mean, don't you ever have some fun on your job? Define fun. Oh man, you're hopeless. I'm talking about F-U-N. Like when someone falls into an open sewer right in front of your eyes. Or accidentally sets fire to his own foot. Destruction is fun. Yes, as long as it's not happening to you. I like popping the bubbles in bubble wrap. Is that fun too? Whoa. If you're into that kind of thing. Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3. And that very rarely ever happens. But when it happens, <laughs> I guess it's party all around, right? <laughs> so you have a thing for bubble wrap? Unfortunately, I only ever need bubble wrap to pad packages that contain smaller objects which have accidentally been put into boxes of postage level 3, and that very rarely ever happens. What's that scratching noise? Is that coming from behind the hatch? Yes, it's the Postal Service replacement cat scratches you catch. The scratching from behind the hatch matches that of Postal Service replacement cats, exactly? It's the unlatched Postal Service replacement cats hatch. Wow. Postal Service replacement cats? <laughs> That's cute. Not quite useful. I have to replace the regular Postal Service cats when they catch dirt. But 
don't you have to clean the unlatched postal service replacement cat's hatch? I do have to clean the unlatched postal service replacement cat's hatch, but there's an unmatched catch. So what's the unmatched catch with the unlatched postal service replacement cat's hatch? I have to dispatch the batch of postal service replacement cats from the unlatched postal service replacement cat's hatch to a latched postal service replacement catch backup hatch. Holy moly. See you later. I've got these gift vouchers from Tony's shop. Gift vouchers verified. One light lead weight from storeroom one. Supply your address now. Where, where, where to? I mean, what? I, I, I don't know. That's a good question. Address verified. What? Dispatch initiated. Postage being scanned. Postage correct. One light package for dispatch. Pigeon from small pigeon hole is being dispatched. <laughs> right, it can really speed up a bit. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. Hey, the coffee makes it work faster. <laughs> I should apply for a job as producer for a video game developer. <laughs> right, it should shift back a gear. Come on, kitty, kitty, kitty. <laughs> I like how it's all relaxed now.